we just took care of our alternative hypothesis here, Brass Eric. And what I did, I actually went and got the video again. This time you want to put it in your on your camera roll so you can access it one more time because we're going to have an alternative hypothesis two and after that a three. And so just viewing the data real quick, this is what we're getting. We want to make sure we're getting the right thing. So we have X here. That looks weird. And then we have Y right here. This also looks weird. Let me check my um, origin at scale. Uh, why does that look like that? Not that far down. Oh, I see why it looks like that. Look, I'm starting my experiment. <laughs> And look at where my origin is located. It's way down here. And look at my scale. This is where I need to place my origin and scale. So I made a boo boo. Bam. And let me move this down here. Bam. So now I can actually zoom in. I zoomed in on some pictures. That was incorrect. So this is better. This is 30 to 40. Uh, and then we can go and look at the data. Yep. So now we're going from 0 to 6. This, this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Okay, so 6.2 or 60 or 0 0.62. That's the way that looks. And then we're, we have ourselves a height of close to 10 here. Okay. So that's awesome. So I'll just say done right there. Go back to experiments. My, my uh, application crashed on me. Now let's look at alternative hypothesis number two. And we'll just have to remember what occurred. All right. So let's just slide our scrub bar down past a 10 degree mark and now this is 20 degrees if you look right here no this is 30 degrees not 20 but 30 so at 30 degrees we want to collect the same kind of data all right and what we want to see right here let me go ahead and uh, move this up a little bit so you see that 52.08 millimeters? We want to write that down because this is going to be our height. And let me just get up myself a marker. So delta Y is going to equal to um, 0 0.0528 meters plus. We're not done. Just play this a little bit. Plus that 10, that you see that? That's 105.23. So that's going to end up being 0 0.10. 0 0.10 0 0.10523 meters. And we'll just add that up. This is going to be at 30 degrees. Okay. So now let's just go ahead and do the same thing that we've been doing. I need to slide over to this location. We need to set our origin and scale. So the origin is going to be right here. And then the scale is going to be between 50 and 60 or 30 and 40. 30 and 40 look a little clearer. Mm -hmm. So again, this is 0.1. And
I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot of that. You guys need to upload your snapshots as well as your videos. So I'm going to go to points, and we're going to start right here. Let me pull this ball back. You guys should be able to see that ball. So I'm going to go ahead and put my first point here. Frame forward. And this is at 30 degrees, so it's kind of hard to see where that ball lands. We slide in here. I could choose to put it here, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back to this point and delete it. And I'm just going to frame forward to the next point. And I want to get some good shots. That's pretty much what I'm saying. I want to be able to see where that ball strikes the table. Still, not a good point. So instead of me putting a point down, still not a good point. I thought these would be good points. I mean, we can guess where they're going to go. Got to see. We may have to use all of these points. There's one. So I'm just going to do it like so. Dip my, my top vertical line into that V. And let's see if we can reproduce that again. This one, it looks like maybe I can guess, but let's just stay with our same experimental technique. There's one. So I'll just go back to let's go ahead and select this original point here, and then let's double tap, slide in here. Go forward and we'll see that V there. Let's use the same technique. Can't tell. Well, it looks like there's a V there, so I'll back this up a little bit. Slide over and take another point right here on my hand. And then frame forward, and it looks as though the V is approximately here. I'll just tap. And then we'll do that again. Okay, that one's not giving it to us. Oh, there's a bit, little V in there. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm just going to go back. Ooh, look at those points. Those points are all off. Okay. And then I'm going to go forward one, and we see our little V here. Tap. That's no good. Let's see about the next one. Ah, that one's good. So let's go ahead and get our first point. I mean, well, the next point here. Then slide this over and grab this point. Uh, that one's nice as well. Uh, 
All right, that's no good. That one is no good. That one looked pretty close right there. It's hitting the same little pile, but I'm, I'm still going to skip it. All right. So that's our data set for this particular experiment. I'll slide back just a little bit. This is the next experiment, and it's at 45 degrees or close to.